All right, is it a makeup or is it a breakup? That is the ultimate question that we have here. We got uh, Sharon and Amy in with us. They had uh, won a, one of the KBJ auctions. And uh, keep your eyes out for that because for different uh, charity events, you can come into the KBJ show, do a Dirt of the Day story like Sharon and Amy just did so expertly minutes ago. Nailed it. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> when Vicious V is out like she is today, you can help us decide if these are makeup or breakups. Several emails. People need the verdict in their relationship. Do they stay in or do they get out? This person wanted to know. He kept asking what else it had bothered me. In the email, it says, I went on a first date with this guy I met online. It was a coffee date. The guy arrived at the coffee shop first and had already bought himself a cup of coffee. He then told me to get my own coffee when I arrived, which kind of put me off a bit. But, you know, I'm fine with paying for my coffee. But I felt like he could have at least waited for me before he had ordered. So we chatted a little and there were silences in between. And then suddenly he asked me, OK, so what else? Well, I got kind of nervous, and I tried to think of a question to ask him, and he's like, oh, okay, he answers it, and he's like, all right, um, uh, what else? I told him, okay, well, you can ask me a question, too, beside what else. So he thought of something, and again, there's this awkward silence afterwards, and then again, another what else. And by the third time, I'm just annoyed. And so I told him, like, look, if we got nothing to talk about, I can just leave. He told me it was his first date in a long time, and I was the first person he had matched with online. So we talked a little bit about our online dating experience, but then again, I got another what else. And by the fourth time, I'm just like, all right, look, I got to go. Well, later that night, he texts me and apologizes and said, look, I'm so sorry that I kept asking what else and things were kind of awkward. Uh, would you please go on a second date with me? Look, I understand that first dates can be nervous, but should I give them a second chance? I mean, I felt like the flow of our conversation was so awkward already. And maybe this is just a sign from a first date that we're just not going to click. So should I give him a second date? Just text him back. What else? <laughs> yeah, that might be the question. This is so not a second date for me. There was no magic there. And also, too... Don't bring any baggage on a first date where you're, 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 like, you're talking about all this other stuff that's going on. You want to be kind of light and fluffy and, and have a good time. It sounded kind of weird for a first date. I'm out. Well, at what point do you give any forgiveness for nerves or jitters? And I, I think that's what he's trying to say. It's been a while since he'd had a date. He comes out. He's rusty. He's not in the game. His conversation skills are lacking, and he just doesn't know what to do. And he comes up with a phrase she can't stand. And so every time he says it, it's a trigger for her on how much this isn't working. Look, I'm just saying, she annoyed him on the date, and then she wrote into the show. There's no connection there. Mm -hmm. she, by the time, she, he annoyed her three different times on the date. <laughs> she, had a, she, she gave him three different chances on the date, and he still annoyed her. And look, there's no shame mm. in the game. When you go out and date... It, it may not work, and that's all right. I'm by just the way, I think coffee dates are weird, by the yeah. way. Well, I don't think you're a coffee drinker, It though. doesn't matter. I yeah. think coffee dates are just weird. Yeah. And let's say you do connect. We're going to make out with coffee breath? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe it caught him off guard, but that is the question. Do you give him a, a, a second chance? Could he have just had a disastrous first date? Is it uh, a makeup or a breakup for you, Sharon? I'm going to say on a scale of 1 to 10, how good looking is this guy? Well, yeah, that's you're right. The question. <laughs> let's, say yeah. he's, let's say he's a decent looking dude. Let's say that his appearance is better than his conversation skills. So we'll give him... He is a solid seven and a half. And the reason why he's not a solid seven and a half is because she didn't mention any of that in the email. Yeah, exactly. So that's a breakup for me. <laughs> it's okay. A, if he was good Shallow. looking, the, yeah. oh, he's so hot, blah, blah, <laughs> blah, but we didn't connect. None of that was mentioned. Amy, is it a makeup or breakup? Oh, it's definitely a breakup. I really? agree with Sharon. Yeah, I mean, wow. there was no connection. She was already complaining about him. You know what? Time to move on. Okay. I mean, I know you've been out of the dating game for a while, Kev. Oh, yeah. There's nothing more awkward than that silence. Even when you're trying to make things happen, that, that silence is awful. It's so deafening. But doesn't that happen most dates when you're trying to get to know somebody? Not if things are, if things are connected, man. You don't yeah. even notice the silence. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm All taking right. a guess that there might be other people online. That she might yeah. be able to, to pair okay. up with, right? Find somebody better. Don't waste your... Yeah, a couple. Don't, yeah, you wasted one Some day. Don't waste two. That's what dating's about. Okay. What about this? Make up or break up here. It says, my boyfriend and I have been together a long time, many years, and for the most part, we don't have many problems. However, there is one big issue that's bothering me a lot. He doesn't ever give me a compliment for anything. Like how I'm wearing, how I look. Look, I work out. I take care of myself. And when we do go out, I try to... 
look all nice, fix my hair, sometimes even get a new outfit so I'm looking sexy for him, but it never fails. He doesn't seem to notice anything and doesn't compliment me at all. And I've even brought this up several times to him, and he tells me that he's going to do better, but he doesn't. I'm beginning to think he doesn't care anymore and I need to move on. Should I? Okay, what's your thought on this, Amy? Ooh, this is a tough one. Um, yeah, I mean, if she has every right to uh, want a compliment, and especially when she's, you know, looking nice for him and probably getting noticed by others. So, I mean, I think if she's talked to him several times about this and, you know, it's never changed, could be time to move on. Aren't there just some guys, though, that are just not, this isn't their skill set, this is just not their game? Not just guys, but there's also women like this, too. Yeah. And you got to understand, th your love language is you need compliments, which I completely understand. A, yeah. a lot of people do, and his love language is not, and he mm -hmm. sucks at that love language. And you got to get to a point in your life and saying, he's not going to change. And I either have to roll with that and accept him, that he's not going to compliment me, or i got to get out. Because you've already brought it up to him. Absolutely. He knows it bothers you, and he's still not making the adjustment. He don't want to make the adjustment, and possibly he, he may not be able to make the adjustment because it's probably not in him. Hmm. Okay. Sharon, for you, make up or yeah, break up? Yeah, that's a break up. If, if she needs that, he's not going to change. So. Guy or girl, though, or girl, girl, yeah, guy, guy, yeah. whatever the situation is, if you're a person that needs, hey, you look beautiful, you look handsome, and you're not getting that, that's going to be a problem. Well, I'm wondering if in relationships, if you identify early what each other's love language is and then realize you don't speak that love language, does that save you a lot of time in saying, we just don't connect on that kind of level? Time to get out. It yeah. baffles me that people don't communicate in relationships. I know so many people that are struggling in relationships, and they don't sit down and tell each other truly what's in their heart. And I think a lot of times, A, they're, they're afraid they're going to hurt their feelings, mm -hmm. or B, they're so out of it with their heart and spirit, they don't even care anymore. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 <laughs> amen. Well, Sharon and Amy, thank you very much. I just thought it was uh, a lot of times our pessimistic show and our chat room, but apparently you guys are on to breakups as well. Yeah, <laughs> these are all breakups. <laughs> Kev, love is dead. Yeah. <laughs>